What caused the Mexican-American War? Tacos. Tacos. No. Uh, no. I know. Uh, Next question. We have some tacos. The first amendment to the Constitution were added in order to protect what? This sucks. I'm not learning anything. Yeah. You know what? So listen up, here we go with the rap of the year A 2010 rhyme that'll kick things in gear This is American history from the beginning to the end From Columbus to Kennedy, MLK to William Penn We'll cover every state, person, place, and event Every minuscule detail that'll be relevant On the AP exam when we take it in May So we all get fives, now what can I say? I'll stop procrastinating but I can't say enough And by the end of this rap you're gonna know your stuff Jesus is right for review and we'll guarantee that you can start your own Boston Tea Party. Columbus came over in 1492 and found a continent that was fresh and new. He came as an ambassador from Spain, primarily because he wanted gold, gotten fame. Columbus didn't stay long, but he was the first and started a period of explorers with thirst for new land and new goods which they could find in this new massive place. It captured their minds. After Roanoke failed in 1590, Jamestown was established as a joint stock company. In 1619, three important things happened. The House of Burgesses was made solely to upend. British system in place in terms of government helped bring representation to every house and tent. In this year, slavery was first implemented, and women also arrived from England. After months, the separatists got on the Mayflower, called themselves pilgrims under colonial power. When they arrived, they drafted the Mayflower Compact. They created an assembly which they all could act. In 1629, Massachusetts Bay was established, and from this colony, Roger Williams was banished. He went on to build the Rhode Island colony. Separation of church and state was his policy. Anne Hutchinson, a woman, tried to teach her beliefs, and as a result, her stay in that colony was brief. Pequot War broke out as Connecticut expanded, but the struggle that ensued was quickly ended. Pennsylvania was erected under William Penn, where the Quakers settled to protect their lives of all men. The Carolinas came around because the land was fertile, and Georgia was a prison state where resistance was futile. Thousands of slaves came through the Middle Passage. They were seasoned and root and treated like baggage. The Columbian Exchange reached its height, and trying of their train flexed Britain's might. This is a period of salutary neglect, and the Western colonists began to lose respect for the freedoms they had with their new legislature. They wanted to exist in a state of nature. The Salem Witch Trials reflected mass hysteria, and the Great Awakening revived the area. George Whitfield and John Edwards led the movement. Evangelism reflected the Enlightenment. The plan of union was suggested in 54, but it was supplanted by the French-Indian War. The French and English fought against each other, and the conflict that ensued was like no other. Its conclusion started anti-British sentiment and a new national view on the continent. Proclamation of 1763 caused relocation of settlers. They had to leave. British war debt was half in seven years' war. Despite victory, British felt pretty poor. Taxes were raised by King George III. Colonists were in an uproar when they heard. Acts came one after another, quartering held soldiers and their brothers. Taxation in the colonies was a crime. Sons of liberty would change things in time. Rebellion soon came into play. The colonists would make the British people pay. Boston Massacre left five people dead. The acts were repealed after intense bloodshed. Harbor was where the Boston Tea went. New acts were instilled and new soldiers were sent. The Continental Congress was the next step to freedom. Declaration of Rights was sent to the kingdom. The revolution began in 1775. But Concord left most military men alive. Washington led the army Continental. The colonies looked like they had potential. Life, liberty, and happiness were pursued. American bad feelings had long time stewed. Saratoga gave America hope. French joined the war and they started a coup. Yorktown is where they accomplish victory. Cornwallis surrenders and they write the Paris Treaty. A new nation is what the British come to see. All started with some expensive tea. The Articles of Confederation was the government. Land ordinances were made, time is not foolishly spent. Shays Rebellion confirms the potential for harm. Local judges could have lost a leg and an arm. The farmers worked hard, a constitution is formed. A strong central government is quickly brainstormed. Virginia and New Jersey fight over legislator. Big states or small states change the nature. Great compromise offers houses and is fair. The best compromise is what they swear. The Constitution was ratified in 1789. Bill of Rights adds protect the tears of mind. Washington was elected the first president, and he set quite a few precedents. Two-term president, all for neutrality, very proud of the American nationality. His right man Hamilton made national bank and paid off war debts of all the ranks. 
Adams won the election in 96, only served one term, but threw in his mix. Alien and sedition, XYZ, he soon learned presidency wasn't easy. Jefferson's election was a revolution because he strictly interpreted the Constitution. He kept his plows and hoes nearby. His farming agriculture was his alibi. The embargo essentially stopped all trade and soon learned that's not how we were made. Jefferson was sick after two terms, so Madison then became the head honcho. James gave in to the war hawk's cry. Again we were at war and again we tried. We lost some men to the British and Indians, but eventually the war was called off by Europeans. All the way in Kent, our treaty was signed. Too bad Jackson was a little behind. Instead he led the victory at New Orleans. And to this day, they all know America means business. Monroe was elected and with him came an era of good feeling that would help tame our new nation, the U.S. of A., where industry was booming by the day. Jackson took away the National Bank and exercised the veto because it is dank. Utopian groups formed and grew. America chanted Tip Canoe and Tyler too. Texas broke away in 36, and a decade later, Taylor used his trick to war with Mexico with much displeasure from Ralph Emerson, who resisted a great measure. Missouri Compromise and Wilmot Proviso, slavery was still the big cheeso. The Civil War started in 1861 when the South decided the Union wasn't fun. South Carolina was the first to secede, followed by the rest of Southern democracies. In the South, they were ready for war while the Union politicians were trying to snow. So the South raised an army to attack Fort Sumter while the North realized a serious blunder. The Union raised an army and attacked a bull run but ended up losing. The president was stunned. In 62, Lincoln issued a proclamation which granted Southern blacks emancipation. The Union was losing until the South invaded, then the tide turns and the South was emasculated. After Pickett's charge, there was no army. Faced with defeat, General Lee left that party. Lee moved south to raise new troops, while Meade in the north went home to recoup. The war ended in 1865 when Lee lost his militaristic drive. Lee went to his troops and they were ready to fight. They didn't count on having to fight. The war ended and the Union was reunited, but racism kept these two spheres divided.